Good day, everybody. Uh, welcome to the High Talk webinar. Uh, today we'll be chatting about mining and some of the solutions and applications that we deal with. Uh, the webinar today, uh, you'll see that there is a, a chat function on the right hand side where you can answer some of your questions. And after the slides have been presented, we can have a look at some of those questions and answer them. Uh, after the webinar, we'll be able to um, provide you with, with details and with emails with regards to some of the other questions that you do have. Uh, firstly, let's talk a little bit about iTalk. Um, launched in 1968, iTalk's uh, goal and mission has remained steadfast uh, all through these 50 years. And uh, that's with optimizing industrial bolting, and we do that through innovative solutions and um, an unyielding commitment to, to our customers that we do have. Uh, as we said, 50 years, and with that 50 years of experience, um, HighTalk utilizes the global expertise that we do have, and we use the local involvement um, throughout 100 countries, and we do that 24-7, 365 days a year. So HighTalk provides uh, solutions to all facets of industry, um, including power generation, petrochemicals, engineering, production, construction, transportation, automation, and eventually what we'll be discussing today is mining as well. And uh, that's the, the title of our webinar today is how to increase safety and reduce job time for maintenance and production in the mining industry. So in order to thrive in the mining industry and uh, capitalize on the new opportunities, um, mining companies um, have to rethink the old traditional mining model and make changes um, in terms of adopting new technologies and, and more innovative thinking. Um, the mining houses and mining companies out there are talking about their work and they do it with their communities and they explain their commitments to the actual mining endeavor that they are doing. They look in different, uh, to, into different steps that they should take in order to continue to improve their productivity. And mining companies have to ensure that uh, they extract each and every ton of dirt at the best possible cost uh, so that they can pocket a greater portion of the higher prices currently seen in the market as the demand gains. Now, I thought see a huge potential in, in providing solutions to the mining environment and in order to, to perform bolting in a more efficient way. And our mission is to optimize safety, quality, and schedule and in the bolting through, through all the innovative solutions that we provide. And that gives us the unyielding commitment to, to provide a world-class world -class customer service. As the leaders in the uh, bolting industry, I talk, uh, we recognize that mining requires um, industry leaders like us to provide a simplistic but yet a very efficient and safe system to become, become part of the solution to their bolting scenarios and their bolting excellence. There's a lot of mining applications out there that currently, uh, currently have had previous dealings with I talk and we've probably provided a lot of solutions to alleviate these bolting challenges that they've had. Uh, maybe it's on EMD, on the earth moving equipment side, maybe on their wash plants, or just normal routine engineering uh, requirements. That's why the products and support that uh, Hightalk can provide will contribute to mining sites with a more superior technology that the mine actually requires. So if you look at the slide here, we've got, uh, we've got a couple of jaw crushes and illustrations and gyratory crushes that we've got. And um, if we look at crushes in, in general, um, in order to reduce this, this, the sort and the size of these materials, uh, crushes are used. And um, they use the material between two solid surfaces and then they apply sufficient force uh, in bringing these surfaces together to generate enough energy. Um, which will then uh, crush the material. Uh, but 
this has adverse effects with the uh, extraordinary forces that, uh, and sometimes vibrations um, that uh, that these machines experience. And these forces sometimes loosen the bolts from their housings. Um, therefore, applying adequate and, and, and more precision torque, um, that becomes a paramount solution to any maintenance schedule that we do have. Currently, there's a lot of emphasis on the foundation mountings of, of crushes, and this is mainly due to, to the age and, of, and the workings of, of these, these um, equipment types. Um, if you have to, have to talk up and tighten up bolts um, on every week, it becomes a very time-consuming process, and it's very unproductive. Um, we have various solutions for these, and we've, we've illustrated uh, two of our fasteners on these, namely the, the high torque washer, which is in the top left-hand corner, and then the high torque nut in the bottom right. Now, if we start with the nut, it's a, it's a very uh, innovative solution for these problem areas. Um, it's been, being, a, being a mechanical tension you know, as such, the bolt loads are applied directly to a calibrated value. So, uh, there's also been a lot of inquiries with regards to the pressure bolts on, let's say, the, the spiders on gyratory crushes. Um, these are very difficult bolts that sometimes need fastening in an inverted uh, application scenario. And the staff tool with the revolutionary high torque washer alleviates the need of, of having numerous personnel on site and holding up very old tools for, for long, long times and long durations. Um, this simplified practice with, with the stove coupled with the high torque washer, it makes the fastening so much faster, a lot safer, and, and a lot more accurate than other, other uh, systems used currently. With the vibration of crushes and other mining machines, uh, bolts tend to come loose, and, and, and these bolts, they depend on the elastic preload to hold their tension. So when using, uh, when using tension, it's, it's usually because the bolts are exceeding their preload. And this means that the deformation of the parts is occurring. It's either when the bolts are stretching or the surfaces of the flanges are getting damaged. Um, that's why there's a need for a more precision uh, torque value um, that can be applied. Now, high torque offers a variety of smart bolting solutions to these mines. Um, and the latest innovation solutions provide job documentation um, in order to, to refer back and, and insert into various work packs for quality purposes, um, profiles, angles, etc. And then there's just so much more. So as you see on this slide, we've got a couple of uh, examples of the high torque washer being used on, on uh, mobile mobile screens, mobile vibratory screens, and also on, on jaw crushes and cheek bolts and so forth. And uh, these are sometimes sometimes limited with regards to spacing and, and, and sometimes they're quite far apart. Um, and they don't have adequate reaction points in which to talk. Um, the high torque washer then removes all these negatives from the melting. Um, it gives a much more simplified solution to you the actual end user itself. Um, a couple of these examples of, of the washer being used in the mining environment, um, there's no limit and there's no interruption in the application at all. Um, a washer is a washer is a washer. And um, there's minimal changes needed. And it's, um, it fits like a normal, normal washer. So you can Okay, so washers have mainly two purposes, and uh, the first one is to distribute the pressure of the nut evenly over the surface so that the surface isn't damaged. And then secondly, to ensure that the nut is pressed against a smooth surface, and this then reduces the chance of it gradually loosening because it's in contact with an uneven surface. So the high torque washer performs all these fundamentals that we talked about with the added extra of uh, utilizing the revolutionary profile shaped edging as a reaction point. Now the bottom diagram um, on, on the right hand side illustrates the double layer socket that we do have and 
with the upshot remaining stationary on the washer itself, engaging in the profile, uh, the inner ring rotates on the net. The illustration also then shows that the advantages thereof is that there's no side loading present. And um, this is resulting in a more accurate and more safer torque application for, for the users. There's also an added advantage in the contribution towards tool longevity. Uh, because the tool is not being labored as such um, with various side loadings and so forth, um, the tool is um, it's not out of its envelope. And the, uh, the forces reacting on that tool make it so that the tool can live a lot longer than normal traditional um, torque tool. So there's various pinch points, which is the main concern with mining nowadays, and um, we see this through various attempts at, at making self-made reaction points and reaction arms, and um, this then increases the likelihood of incidents and, and injuries. Um, where washes aren't used, usually because of the of the um, limited spacing that we do have. Um, we at Hartford, we design and then manufacture enhancements that can actually fit on our 2D range itself. And uh, for example, uh, the fixtures alleviate the pinch point totally as well. And we use the adjacent bolts to uh, react off. Um, these fixtures ensure that the desired torque values are achieved. Um, and they are achieved in a safe and a, and a speedy manner. Um, these two factors are, are the things that mines are now, nowadays focused on, is uh, safety and downtime. So high torque ticked off all the boxes and, and even more, including the accuracy as well. Uh, the top two uh, slides show, uh, the, the one on the left shows with a, with a standard reaction on uh, of, of a tool, and then on the right we have one of our fixtures as well, utilizing uh, the BTN. And these new fixtures for, for the earth moving equipment are becoming more and more popular with mining houses and mining companies and contractors nowadays, simply to, to eliminate those hazards they were traditionally experienced in, um, in, the, in the tire and the wheel. So that we just lost uh, some of the comms, uh, we've got it back now. Um, as you we were saying that the, uh, uh, the wheel fixtures for the EME and earth moving equipment are becoming a lot more popular now. And in order to be more, more in line with what the original equipment manufacturers are, are specifying, the OEM spec sometimes require that the angle is, is incorporated into some of the applications. And this is done very easily now with the, the use of our uh, BTM lithium series torque gun, as you can see on the bottom right slide, um, which facilitates torque angle and then release as well. This is actually done on one of the uh, dozers on the shoe bolts, um, and it's quite high torque values with, with specific instructions with regards to the process from the OED themselves. Now on this slide, we'll, we'll be having a look at some of the other ancillary items to, to mining and especially on RDTs. Um, the struts on the undercarriage of the, the rigid dump trucks. Um, you, traditionally, they've been fitted with various different scenarios and, and people have been putting keeper plates and, and some have even welded them on as well. Um, the high torque washer and the, and the high torque nut just simplify these bolting scenarios so easily. And it also alleviates the, the dreaded pinch points as well. Um, the advantage of using the fastener range is that uh, the majority of our tool inventory can accommodate these fasteners. Um, it's not uh, it's not that new tooling has to be has to be purchased in order to use it. A lot of our tools are currently um, compatible with these with the fastener range that we do have. We can also use our conventional tooling range, um, especially the low clearance tools, to perform a similar torque um, scenario on, on streamings of excavators. And this just ensures that we get parallel joint closure 
and speed up the bolting process in a safe and an efficient manner with exceptional uh, accuracy. Here are some of the uh, fixtures and some of the scenarios that, that we have um, implemented into the mining industry with some um, with axles using using uh, reaction fixtures and utilizing them um, with our torque tool range. Anything from our square drive advantage tools all the way up to the state of the art battery um, torque multiplier and uh, torque gun that we use. Um, also compatible with our pneumatic, uh, electric, and um, hydraulic range of, of tuning. So our talk offers a very a variety of solutions um, to the entire range of, as I've said earlier, the hydraulic, pneumatic, electric, and battery power tool. And the system allows for the highest level of safety, and speed, and accuracy. And the uh, product, the, the productive enhancements that we provide, uh, provide an efficient solution to all and different bolting scenarios that that end users might have. So we um, we're looking forward to engaging with, with a lot more people in the mining industry, um, and we will be more than happy to come and provide a safer and a simpler and a more faster solution to, uh, to your bolting needs. Uh, we do have a couple of questions here, um, which um, we'd like to like to uh, answer. And um, first one here, yeah, we've, uh, we've got Jason. He has now asked us, what other improvements can I talk about to increase productivity? Well, Jason, thanks for the question. Um, we have various other ancillary services um, that we do have as um, as I talk, and those those services are engineering solutions, um, software and web-based inventory management. Um, we've got various test data that we can provide. Uh, we also have our PDG, which is a productivity enhancement group, and then also HBI, which is our high drive, high torque bolting institute. All this, including our, our our mobile service vehicles that we do have, are all some of the other support services that we can use um, to assist improving um, in the, improving the the, in, in the increase in productivity that. Uh, that people do have. So thanks for that question, uh, Jason. Um, going to be looking at another one here. Um, Quentin. Uh, Quentin's asked, will using the nut or the washer cut down on unscheduled tightening of bolts? Uh, Quentin, yes, thanks for the question. Um, as I said earlier, on the, um, on the crusher side, with People um, tightening and retightening bolts, bolts on, a, on a weekly basis becomes unproductive. Um, our fasteners with our tools provide a more precision uh, torque value, and uh, if we can get, um, if we have our engineers have a look at some of your applications, we can then provide recommendations with regard to the torque values, which can then minimise um, the, the unscheduled. Retighten of bolts as as you put it here. So uh, thanks for that question, there, Quentin. Um, I have another question here from Tendai, and he's asked if there if there is adequate reaction points, can you still use the high torque equipment? Um, Tendai, yes, you can. Um, the tooling works as per a normal traditional torque wrench, um, but as we said, um, the purpose of the of the webinar is to um, increase safety and, and reduce job time for the maintenance. And the torque wrench works as a normal traditional torque wrench, but we prefer to use it with 
the fossils to um, alleviate all the different um, hazards and, and um, incident areas that, that could be provided from using the tool bridge with a standard reaction arm. Um, we have another question here, uh, which is Trevor, and he has asked, what's the difference between using a real reaction fixture and a high torque washer? Now, using one of the reaction fixtures, um, it's basically the reaction points are, are the same. Um, they're very similar in, in, in relation to what they do. Um, where limitations in, in, in the, where there is limitations in the in the access of getting a washer on maybe a uh, on a on a wheel bolt um, where there is not enough space, we can then use a real reaction fixture, and that real reaction fixture can then serve the same purpose in alleviating the the dreaded pinch point, but then also providing an accurate and a safe way in which to do bolting properly. So yeah, thanks for that, uh, that question there, Trevor. Um, I have a question here from Derek. Um, he says, I have bolts where they come out past the nut. We have issues in getting longer sockets made. Is there any other solution that you could provide? Um, Derek, yes. Thanks for the question there. We can use the, the stock uh, locating system tool that we do have. That option um, allows for what we call stud protrusion. So if you do have a stud which then protrudes, protrudes past the nut, we can then apply the stock tool um, with a link, and that actually allows the stud to come out past the nut and still perform the same uh, reaction-free uh, bolting um, with using the, the washer. So, uh, in short, yes, we do have, have other solutions to your problems there. So, we'll get in contact with you, Derek, with regards to that. I'm going to take another few questions here quickly, and then uh, I think we'll, we should be finished by then. Um, Mike has asked, what's the biggest size washer high torque manufacturers? Well, Mike, it's, it's, it's all um, custom made. Um, we do have a, a, a set size, which, which are off the shelf type of, of um, equipment, but we do manufacture um, specialized sizes for, for, for clients as per their requirements. Um, we've made up to, uh, for, we've made washers for, 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 for nuts that have a cross flat size of over 160 millimeters. But uh, we, we do make it at any size and we make them custom out of any material that is needed. Um, we can even galvanize it if it's in wet conditions. So yes, um, if we could get one of our one of our representatives to come and have a look, we can have a look at the sizing and look at the materials and then make it as to your requirements. Um, let's go to the last question here from Jock. Um, he asked, what type of material are washers made from and are they compatible with all surfaces? Well, Jock, thanks for that question. Yes, um, the material that is used is a true hardened material. Um, but we can make the washers out of any material that is your requirement. So that actually follows up on the previous question from Mike as well. So um, a true hardened washer, um, with learning on the one side and passive on the other side. One goes on the spot face and the other side goes goes onto the nut. Um, and we make it out of any material that is required as per your specification. So um, that's in quick yes we can. Uh, we can make it make it out of anything you need. Um, that concludes the, the webinar for today. I'd like to thank everybody for registering and, and listening in on the webinar. Um, it's great for us in South Africa to be able to do it from here. We um, really enjoyed it today, and um, we hope we can make it a more regular occurrence. And uh, thank you very much for all your time.
and uh, we will be sending out emails to the attendees. Um, and thank you very much again.